What's going on? It's your boy Joel Fontaine. I'm back on uh, the new massive 1.3.1 update, which now supports the double AX format. And uh, massive uses what's called the wavetable synthesis to generate sound. And as you can see right here, I'm on uh, the Windows 7. This is a 64 bit operating system. And I'm going to show you guys a little uh, modulation synthesis on this. Now, massive is arranged in different sections. So let's take a look over here on the top left hand corner. We have the oscillator section. We have oscillators one through three. We have the modulation uh, section below that, as well as the noise and the feedback. Towards the top, we have uh, the called what's called the filter section, which contains filters one and two, and all the routing options. To the right of this, we have basically an output section where you have the master effect section, as well as your EQ um, over here. Now, towards the center of the screen, these are different pages where you can set massive up with all the incredible mod or rather all the incredible modulators that it has. Uh, at the bottom, you have the insert sections with inserts one and two, where you can uh, insert your effects. And to the right of that, we have the macro control section where you can set up the macro controls parameters. And back towards the top, we have three different views. Right now we're currently on what's called the synth view. And this is the current GUI that we're seeing right here. The second view is called the attributes. And this allows you to, to uh, define characteristics of sound so you can find a sound very easily by narrowing down its parameters through these preset tags. We also have the browser section here, which allows you to use the attributes to search or locate presets or your own saved sound. So let's go back to the sense screen. Now let's go take a look at some of the modulation options that we do have available. Now modulation is basically the process of using one synthesizer module to affect the parameter of another synthesizer's module. Okay. So the main modulators are located across the, uh, the top of this, this, this screen here. Okay. You have four envelopes and you have four LFOs. Okay, so if you want to modulate the parameters, let's go over here to envelope one, for example. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign envelope one to affect filters one cutoff. So what I'll do is I'll drag envelope one to the um, filter one's first slot. Like so. Now you notice that little one that appeared uh, when I was dragging that there. If I want to adjust the amount, I just click and hold this little uh, icon here and I drag it up or I can drag it down. Okay. So basically if I'm going this way, this is a negative effect. If I'm going this way is basically a positive effect. Okay. So now you can hear the effect over the filters cutoff. For example, if I play a key on my keyboard, I hope you guys can hear this way. I have my mic hooked up. Okay, I can now adjust the attack in the level as well as the release on that right right here with these little controls here. If I want to have a longer attack, I have that option like that. All right, so let's do an LFO. Okay, and basically what's going to happen is the process is just basically going to repeat. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll drag LFO 5 here to filter cutoffs one first box as I did on the first one right on top of that. Okay, now you immediately notice that it changes from blue to green. The first envelope, envelope one was blue. Now it's green because I'm on LFO five here. So now let's assign uh, filter envelope two to the mix control. So we'll go over here. We'll add this guy here. And again, the same thing. If I drag it up or down, I can control the mix on that. Okay. And you can right click. You can assign different modulations through one through eight. Basically, that's just assigning your LFOs. That's another way you can do it. You also can assign your key groups and your macros uh, here. You can mute it or you can turn it off as I just did there. Okay, now you notice under the parameters knobs, there, there, there's multiple slots. The first two, or these first two here, are basically called the modulation destination slots. Okay, and the last one here with a little SC up under it, that is basically what's called the side chain modulator. I could turn it on like so, or I can turn it off like that. 
You can add three modulators simultaneously if you want to and control all three by dragging them up and down as I just showed you before. So for example, I have five here. If I was to add, I didn't even grab that. Grab six here and grab seven here. Okay, I can gradually control uh, the effects of these LFOs by dragging them up and down like so. They're all independent. Again, a positive effect going up, going down. This is a negative effect. Okay. And you can adjust this by moving it to the right or to the left where you want the filters to start affecting your sound. Okay, so I'm going to cut these off. And let me just adjust this a little bit. I want to have a positive effect on my sound, so I'm bringing it up like so. Okay, and you'll notice the effect on that when I press the key. Hope, hopefully you can hear this. Okay, and I can adjust the rate on that. All right, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a rat there for the effect that I'm trying to get. All right, so now what I will do is I will take envelope one here to the side chain section above, as I just mentioned, and I will apply it like so. And basically over here, up under the, uh, the, the number five LFO, if I take, well, first let me turn the side chain on. If I take this little section here and make a little, this little triangle icon comes up, what basically happens is now it will now affect LFO's five influence over the cutoff. The envelope will affect and control how the LFO affects the cutoff. So by doing that, as long as you have this little triangle icon highlighted here in your side chain on, you will now notice the effect or rather the gradual effect that will take place as I hit the key. The longer I make the attack, the more gradual the effect. Okay, so basically what that did was that will actually assign the side chain modulator um, to the LFO. And of course, you worked really hard for your work setting up your macro controls and, you know, your oscillators and your EQs and effects and things of that nature. So what you can do is you can simply press save or you can press save as or another way you can do it. You can go up under file and press save or save as, which is basically what's to the right of the little menu towards the top. And I'm just gonna hold it up right there. This is your boy Joel Fontaine of the VIP Sound Lab. And uh, I just wanna give a shout out to my boy AG over at machinemasters.com. Uh, you guys might, might wanna check that out. That's coming out real soon in the future. That's gonna be real hot for you machine lovers out there. And again, I have a VIP membership that's $9.99, no monthly fees. I repeat, no monthly fees. You guys can come over and get locked in for a lifetime subscription a free edit a rather free controller editor templates free drum kits if you want mpc 5000 sounds 2000 xl sounds where there's 3000 sounds i have all that up for grabs up inside the vip database i have custom sessions for ableton live i have custom slice and chop presets for ableton live i have controller editor maps for uh reason uh machine uh contact got contact scans i mean you name it just come on the website you guys can take a look at that so again, that's pretty much it. I don't want to run too long on this. Again, this is the massive 1.3.1 update. Again, it now supports the double AX format. If you are a registered user of machine, we have the 1.8 update now. You can download massive for free. Uh, I got my serial uh, in my inbox just yesterday. And basically what you do is you just go into the service center and you apply your serial number and you're good to go for a fully licensed version of massive. All right, so 
that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one.